Welcome back to Let's Play Jedi Academy. This is Execute. I'm gonna let Charles handle this part because if I don't, he's gonna pitch a fucking fit. Take it away. How blessed are the Sith? Charles Clayworth in the house. And since I was robbed at the end of episode 2, it's time to explain about stages and weapons and force powers and all that shit. We are going to Tatooine first. You can pause if you want to read the briefing text, but the gist of it is that we need to fuck up some mercenaries. This one sounds like it could be nasty, so I'll be going with you. You'll find some of the galaxy's worst lowlifes on Tatooine. Gile will not actually fight with us in the mission, because he will fuck off somewhere when we begin. Welcome to the Force Power screen. This screen allows you to increase any one Force Power by a single rank, the maximum is rank 3. Click on any light or dark Force Power to blah blah blah. Who needs the damn instructions? Here in the middle, are all the neutral powers which will increase of their own accord, so you can pretty much ignore it, whenever you're on this screen. Here on the left side are the light powers which are primarily defensive, but if I know Tom, he's gonna head right to the dark powers. Fucking called it. Two new dark powers in this game, this one is Dark Rage. It makes you unkillable, fast, and hard hitting. Lightning is what you would expect, and grip is also what you would expect. Drain is new, and lets you steal help and force power from your enemies. Give me your blood. Next up is the weapon screen. This screen allows you to choose two weapons, and the throwable device for the upcoming mission. Here you can choose any two available weapons, you will get more as the game progresses. For now, we have the E-11 in accurate stormtrooper rifle, the crossbow, the sniper, and the DEMP gun. As for explosives, it's always the same three, so pick what you like. And before grenade fail from Tom. Oh for God's sakes, why would you pick the Stormtrooper rifle? Because until the Repeater shows up, I just don't give a shit. Sniper is an okay choice. And we're off to Tatooine. If you want to read the mission briefing, go ahead and pause. I already covered it though. Well, I'll be the Millennium Falcon. Han, Chewie, anybody here? I guess they're out. Luke's info is good. These are definitely freelance cargo ships. I've got a bad feeling about this. Listen, stay here and guard the entrance to the docking bay. If anyone tries to enter or leave, detain them. I'll head over to the crate cantina and ask around. I know some people there. I see you put your hood on. Pretty cool, huh? A Jedi? Me? No, not yet. I'm one of Kyle Katarn's students. He's talking to some locals. We're investigating a cult that's been cropping up everywhere. You must be Chewbacca. Why are you here? <laughs> Leia Organa? Wow, must be important business. Charles neglected to mention something, by the way, but I'll cover that in a second. Here we are in, uh, fucking Mos Eisley, and here we have Chewbacca. He's gonna be our wingman for the level. What did I miss? You forgot to tell everybody your reward for beating one of these missions, and why it's preferable to do all of them. My bad. You receive a star, to use on a force power for every mission, and you only need to do four of the five missions. To reach the next year, doing them all gets you more stars to use. Charge those bitches! We're in the real world now! And yes, I've already taken up the liberty of setting up this amendment, so don't worry about that. Nice work. It only took you six strings to hit that one guy. Quiet, you! Using a lightsaber is an art, it's not just flailing. I think the Wookiee wants something. Good idea. We won't be such easy targets inside. Inside is what they want, inside is what they're gonna get. Let's head this way. You're kind of fucked for health. Yeah, well, I'll fix that. Give me your blood. Ah, refreshing. Wait a minute, Wookiee, they look for a genius. Doesn't fucking matter, he's dead, I'm not. Problem solved. What much chew is shooting at? Ah, oh, we killed it. Don't you go on epic quests against kill stealers? In this situation, I think I'll just let the Wookiee win. How the fuck did that miss? No death protection. Whoa, whoa, we've been over this. No jokes about disabled or injured people. It's not cool. You're no fun. 
And you're a complete jerk. So what? It's my job as a British overlord. I think we should just change the subject before somebody gets offended. Okay, here we go. This is the same as uh, in Chadarkas, they just restore ammo. Same old, same old. Let's progress. Is it just me, or are the Rodians kinda creepy? And you call me offensive. Look at this racist schmuck here. We apologize to any Rodian viewers. Pretty spooky. Yeah, what is that? In before Tom Fox to throw up. Quiet, I got this. What? It did like no fucking damage. It was a dud. Kind of sucks for you. This for one time you throw a perfect green A to get the shaft on the actual damage component. Fucking whatever, man. That's the let's play a curse if I've ever seen it. All right, we need more cover. Let's get back to our ship. We're back outside again. We need to get back to our ship, as he just said. That's a new move. That's uh. No to this game, if you push someone or pull, pull, or pull someone and they fall over, you can just hold forward and attack them if that happens. Give me your blood. For the brain is a pretty damn good power. If he is too weak at rank 1 to properly kill anybody. I don't really understand why anybody would take force heal over force drain. Name one advantage force heal has over force drain. Force drain requires a target in order to get some help from. Force heal does not. Done. Both are situational. You're no Archibald, and I never really thought of force heal and drain like that. Although it's a good point, I suppose. Look at Trainerjan. Repeater, huh? Don't mind if I do. You picked one up earlier. Repeater's the same old thing, it's got the same old awesome secondary, which is about the only reason to use the gun. Delish. Concussion rifle is still infinitely better than it. You're not gonna get any argument from me, the concussion rifle is my favorite gun in this game. What the fuck's Chewie screaming about? Probably needs to be dewormed or something. Ew. That's the first place your mind went? What the fuck do you get up to in your spare time? Nice try, but straw man arguments don't work on me, motherfucker. Holy shit, someone who actually knows what a straw man is. Of course I know what a straw man is. I call you a convict every few minutes. I suppose that's as good a point as any. Give me a sec, I wanna snipe this guy in his dumb head. Alright, now let's just go chop up the rest. Jeez. She was dropping a fucking train on him. He's a big fluffy wuffy wookie. He's no shambler, but he's kind of cute. Keep your fetishes to yourself. What are you doing? I'm making an LP of Outcast. I'm in Academy. What does it look like? What the fuck are you doing? I'm making an LP of Outcast. I kind of walked right into that one, but knock it off. Even back to this getting annoyed by it. Alright, alright. I know my Star Wars lore. It's not wise to upset a wookie. Back outside again. <laughs> I sense an ambush. What's behind these crates? Oh. First shoot we've seen since the start of the fucking level. You wouldn't need it if you weren't awful. Shut up. There's a whole lot of nothing going on out here. Something needs to happen. That's an exploding crate. Blow it up. Sir, yes sir. It's not blowing up. Why is it not blowing up? No talking during plot dick hole. Fucking blow me. Yeah, yeah, now it blows the fuck up. It was a plot device all along, and we went under ways. Did you see anything? No, you, you saw nothing. Nothing here but us Commonwealthers. At least you know you're based Australian. Bit hard not to. Look at that flag. Union Jackson, on it. Give me your blood. For that matter, look at our currency. Queen Elizabeth's face is plastered over every coin. Queen Elizabeth II second you, plebeian. Uh, a queen is a queen is a queen. Speaking of which, how old is the queen? Queen Elizabeth II will be turning 87 years old in April. Damn! <laughs> and I thought I was getting old. How old are you? I'll be 27 in March. You're 26. You're still a baby. Back in my day, 26 was still considered adolescence. Back in your... Wait. Wait. Charles? How old are you? I can't tell you. It's confidential. It's confidential. It's your age. I've met some pompous people before. But that's a new level of pompous. Congratulations. I'm still not telling you my age. Come on, tell me. No. Tell me. No. Do it. No can do. Come on, you fucking pussy. Stop bloody asking already. 
Such a grumpy old cunt. I'm older than you. Let's leave it at that. Fine, fine. Didn't realize you had such a hang up about your age. Alright, this door does not open, so that leaves us with this one. Green eight. I think you're screwed now. No, no, it's cool. I got this. It's just one guy at the top of the steps. Denied! <laughs> Look at him run. Well, that was uncharacteristically professional for you as far as green aids are concerned. <sighs> Winner! Fuck your green aids. Don't even bloody start. I cop shit all the time for the way I say green aids. Even though I by rights fucking should not. I'm British. However, I say it is the proper way. You're delusional. How the hell am I delusional? I don't care if you are British. If you said basket like base keat, you're wrong. That simple. That's retarded. Stop being retarded. It's a hypothetical example, you fucking Darrow. See that? That karma for calling me a Darrow. Alright, Charles, you're up. We are taking turns by lives. Since Tom never bothered to mention it, it is one ran up the stairs. And green eggs do not scare me. Give me your bargain. That's my line, you thieving cunt! Correction, it was your line. It's property of the British Empire now. You can't, you can't do that. You can't just go stealing my fucking lines. That's unacceptable. What will you fucking do about it? Convict, I'm in the driver's seat now. Why don't you just consider risky advertising? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And you know what? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll sit here and I'll wait for you to get your ass kicked. By the way, you missed the shield generator, dumbass. I didn't miss it. I just don't need it. Trub. Stupid sniper. Give me your blood. Yum yum. Let that be a lesson to you, Tom. One vertical slash right after a drain equals great success. Got it? Got it. Moving right along. This door here does not open, and this asshole is asking to be impaled on my saber. Another retard in this room. That thing in the middle of the room, by the way, is actually a jelly bait up. Just so you know. Get on your fucking feet, and give me your blood. Oh my god, Charles, I hate you. Get your own fucking material, jeez. I did. I just forcibly commandeered your material. Relax, you can have it back when I'm done. Anyway, let's take the elevator up. We are now overlooking the hangar bays, and our job is to disable the two tracker beams locking the Millennium Falcon, and the other one in place. It's called the Raven's Claw, Buffet. I knew that. Fucking shut your mouth. Okay, that's it for the Falcon. Now for the Raven's Claw. As you can see, one down, one to go, and light save for five time. Absolute fucking bullshit. Great, now look what he's doing. Nice fight, right, Charles. Got a hand to ya. Alright, convict, your turn. And that is how it's done, Charles. You don't fucking stand there and try to block a strike from Red's dance. Give me a goddamn break. It was my very first saber fight. So what? I won my first saber fight. Yeah, because the genius reborn ran off a ledge and fell to his death. It's not the point. You shit. I'm sorry. You shit. Eat shit. By the way, for those of you wondering that uh, weird ass spinning move I used to end the fight, uh, that is a saber carter. They kind of got introduced in this game. They actually cost half your fucking force bar. Are you chewy? Someone needs to hook the damn Wookiee up with his deworming pills already. There he is. By the way, also on the subject of Saber Carters, um, each stance has a different one. With Blue Stance, you can actually run around while doing it. With the other two, you remain relatively stationary. Just, uh, just food for thought there. Looks like we're heading back. Who is okay, it? there's the Millennium Falcon. And who the fuck said that? The bad guys. Thank you, Captain Optius. God, Charles, I don't know what the fuck I'd do without you. I imagine you get beasted by green age 24-7. You can say as much as you fucking want, I'm still giggling about the way you lost. Give me your blood, just fucking stand there and... Ooh, what's this red state strike? This guy's got a lot of blood. Oh man, he fucking survived. No, we ain't gonna live through that shit. Quick question for you, why is it such a big deal? Are you all salty over me using your catchphrase? Damn right I'm fucking salty. 
Like a box. You motherfucking motherfucker. How dare you. You know, Charles, I actually have a song that sums up people like you. And it goes a little something like... It's only hip hop. If you get told on it. Yeah, and I just called you on a genius. Son of a bitch. Give me your blood, cockhead. Alright. Oh, level's over. Oh, did I miss something? Sharp as a bayonet. <laughs> Good to see you too, Chewy. Guess these mercs didn't want us here. <laughs> oh, that's high praise coming from a Wookiee. Thanks, I think. These mercs aren't cheap. Someone in this cult must have a lot of credits. Or worse, it's backed by the Remnant. Listen, we gotta get back to Luke and tell him what's going on. Can you tell Leia about the cult? If he hadn't shown up when he did, I'd have been in a whole lot of trouble. Yeah, well, the way Chewie tells it, you held your own. Nice work. Kyle told me about what happened in Moss Eisley. It's a good thing Chewie was there, but you did well regardless. It looks like this cult and the Imperials may be working together more closely than we thought. In before Luke looks pissed. In after Luke looks pissed. Perfect timing. Alright, we're going to wrap this episode up here, so thanks for watching. This has been Execute. And this has been Charles Clayworth Motherfuckers. And we will see you guys next time.